I hope this finds you well. From the salary of a Supreme Court Justice to the only Supreme that's ever served with no formal legal education, today we look at 20 interesting facts about the United States Supreme Court. Number one, according to the National Taxpayers Union, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court makes a salary of $258,100. All of the other justices, which are known as associate justices, make a salary of $246,800. Number two, William Howard Taft is the only individual to have been both president and a supreme. Taft was president from 1909 to 1913 and became a Supreme Court justice in 1921 and served until 1930. Number three, there have been 17 courts since the Supreme Court's inception. Thus, there have been 17 chief justices. Number four, there are currently nine Supremes, but that number has fluctuated between five and ten throughout U.S. history. The number of associate justices that may be appointed at any given time is fixed by Congress. Number five, only one Supreme Court Justice has ever been impeached, Samuel Chase. He was an associate justice. He was impeached by the House of Representatives on March 12, 1804, for arbitrary and oppressive conduct of trials. The Senate later acquitted Samuel Chase on March 1, 1805. Number six, there is no requirement in the U.S. Constitution that a Supreme Court justice attend law school or be a lawyer for that matter. James Biners, hopefully I've said that right, served from 1941 to 1942, but never graduated from high school or attended college. He taught himself the law and he passed the bar exam at the age of 23. Robert Jackson, who served from 1941 to 1954, did not attend undergraduate college, although he did study law at Albany Law School in New York. Number seven, both Jackson and Biners were nominated by President Roosevelt. Number eight, the oldest Supreme Court Justice ever to be appointed was Horace Lurton. He was appointed at 65 years of age. Number nine, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes was 90 years old when he retired from the Supreme Court, which leads us to number 10. A Supreme may hold office as long as they want, according to the Constitution, which states that a Supreme Court Justice may hold office during good behavior. Number 11. With immigration being such a hot topic, it's of noting that not all Supreme Court Justices were born in the United States. Six Justices were born in other countries. Number 12. The Firsts. The first African American Justice was Thurgood Marshall in 1967. The first female justice was Sandra Day O'Connor in 1981, and the first Hispanic justice was Sonia Sotomayor in 2009. Number 13, the president nominates a Supreme, and the Senate approves their appointment. Number 14, the first Supreme Court met in 1790, but never had their own building or courthouse until 1935. Number 15, there are three images of Lady Justice in the Supreme Court building and on its grounds. This one's my favorite. The Lady Justice we know today is a product of the Greek goddesses, Themis and Justitia. Number 16, there have been two justices with the same name, John Marshall Harlan. The grandfather served from 1877 to 1911, and his grandson served from 1955 to 1971. Number 17, the Supreme Court receives approximately 10,000 writs of certiorari each year and hears between 75 and 80 cases a year. Number 18. The current court is composed of Chief Justice Roberts, nominated by George Bush Jr., Justice Scalia, nominated by Ronald Reagan, Justice Kennedy, nominated by Ronald Reagan, Justice Thomas, nominated by George Bush Sr., Justice Ginsburg, nominated by Bill Clinton, Justice Breyer, nominated by Bill Clinton, Justice Alito, nominated by George Bush Jr., Justice Sotomayor, nominated by Barack Obama, and Justice Keegan, also nominated by Barack Obama. Number 19. The justices are seated in the Supreme Court by seniority. And finally, number 20. All nine Supremes are not required to hear a case. A quorum consists of six Supremes, meaning only six need be present to rule on a case. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos regularly. And let me know in the comments below who your favorite Supreme Court Justice is or was, and why.